Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. I am your mentor for geography. As part of this session, we will discuss about the internal composition of the earth. Why do we need to discuss about internal composition of the earth? In our previous session, we discussed about lithosphere. We talked about the varying depth of continental crust, the varying depth of oceanic crust, and we also talked about the situation where, where there is a mountain chain, the depth of the lithosphere increased further. That means it was dipping further into the next layer. So when I say next layer, and how did the next layer allow a denser material to dip into that layer? That means we need to understand the different layers of our earth. We need to understand the composition of the earth. That is how we will be able to understand the behavior of how the continents are moving or how and why we see a particular landform, right? Now, if before we discuss about the internal composition of the earth, we need to understand how did earth form, right? Because in the first 500 million years of the existence of the earth, the earth was a molten material. That means it underwent sorting when i say sorting it means materials of different densities were aligning themselves according to their density so the higher density material started moving down the lower density material started moving up right this is nothing but sorting also that what happens so that means materials of similar densities would be found at one at a particular depth materials of lighter density would be found at the topmost layers Right, that means we have different layers of varying densities. This is nothing but stratification, strata means layers. So, in the earth, we would find stratification, we would find varying density, right? So, higher density formed the inner layers, the lighter density material formed the outer layers. So broadly, we say earth is made up of three different layers, which is crust, mantle and core. Broadly, what we say? Broadly, so we say that earth is made up of concentric layers of materials. On a broad scale, we say it is made up of three layers, which is crust, mantle and then core again core is further divided into two more layers which is inner core outer core okay when we are discussing about crust mantle core we need to understand on what basis we actually classified them into these layers so we can classify the materials based on their chemical composition or their mechanical properties. If I am trying to classify based on the chemical composition, it is called a static model. So earlier I was mentioning about crust, mantle, core that was based on chemical composition. So the static model classifies the earth's internal composition based on chemical composition, right? So we have crust, we have mantle and we have core. So what are the major contents of crust? Crust is majorly made up of silica and aluminium. Okay, silica and aluminium. So we call that as Cl. So crust is majorly containing of Cl, that is silica and aluminium. Now, since it has silica and aluminium, it is also lighter. So crust is made up of lighter material. Again, we were talking about crust being the topmost layer. That means it should be of lighter material. And that's why it's containing both silica and aluminum. Hence, it is lighter, right? We also call the crust as lithosphere, right? Now, what is the second layer? The second layer is mantle. Mantle is made up of silica and magnesium. That is why, that is why we call it as sima. Material is made up, it is made up of material of medium density. Mantle is made up of material of medium density. 
then finally we have core core is should be made up of heavier material because it's the innermost innermost means it should have the higher density material because earlier we were talking about sorting of layers based on their density since core is the innermost layer it should have the materials of highest density that is why core has both nickel and iron the core is having is made up of nickel and iron so it is called as nife because the scientific name of iron is ferrum f e r r u m that is why we call it as nife iron plus nickel now this is nothing but this is the static model right also one more thing the core is further divided into two layers which is inner core and the outer core the outer core is made up of nife but it is of liquid state why is it is of liquid state because there is lot of radioactive material at these depths the heat generated by the decay of this radioactive material and the pressure of these overlying regions made this particular outer core into liquid state that is why this is of outer core is in liquid state but the chemical composition is again majority majorly of nickel and iron that is why it is again the entire core is made up of nickel and iron so the outer layer which is crust is made up of cl the medium density material which is mantle is made up of sema which is silica plus magnesium and the inner inner layer which is the core is made up of nickel plus iron and there are varying depths we have depicted that here you see inner core is about 12 1270 km thick the outer core is about 2200 km thick mantle is about 2850 km thick and the crust is about 5 to 70 km okay now there should be some nomenclature for the line that is separating these two layers right so between crust and mantle we have a layer we call it as discontinuity any separation between these layers is called as discontinuity so it is called as mohorovic discontinuity so mohorovic discontinuity separates crust and mantle similarly mantle and core which includes both the inner and the outer cores right because similarly there should be a layer separating between the there should be layer of separation similarly there should be layer of separation between the mantle and the core that separation layer is called as a discontinuity and that is named as gutenberg discontinuity so we have two discontinuities one is mohorovic discontinuity which is separating the crust and the mantle then we have gutenberg discontinuity which is separating the mantle and the core okay again we have listed down in detail here crust is made up of cl mohorovic discontinuity separates crust from mantle most importantly there is a rapid increase in density in depth with depth that means in crust there is a rapid increase in density as we move down now let's discuss about mantle so mantle is between mohorovic discontinuity and gutenberg discontinuity gutenberg's discontinuity separates mantle from core right so mantle is between these two discontinuities so the depth varies from 35 to 2900 km that is between the crust and the core outer core okay predominance of magnesium we said it is of medium density material that is why we are calling uh, calling the mantle to be of sema we call sema right it's of medium density material then again how does the density vary when you are actually going further down in crust we said there is a drastic increase of density but that's not the case with mantle in mantle there is a gradual increase in density okay upper part of mantle is in plastic state okay now again this mantle is further divided into two different layers 
we will discuss what they are okay but again we say that the upper part of the mantle is in plastic state why is it in plastic state again there is a lot of heat and pressure there is a pressure from the overlying regions and there is decay of radioactive material okay that is why the upper part of the mantle is in plastic state now the core core is made up of the denser material right inner core up to 1400 kilometers it might vary because we cannot be we cannot accurately predict these things it is solid the outer core is in liquid state okay it consists of nickel and iron alloy now let now let us discuss about the dynamic model dynamic model is based on the mechanical properties of the material right but again what changes the mechanical properties of the material there is radioactive material also in the earth this radioactive material disintegrates if it dis if it disintegrates there is release of heat and energy right so that also can change the material state of the material that can change the mechanical state of the material okay pressure and friction both they also can change the mechanical properties right so when we discuss about the composition of the earth based on the mechanical properties it is divided into lithosphere what is lithosphere lithosphere is the crust plus the uppermost part of the mantle which is in solid state now lithosphere is followed by asthenosphere asthenosphere is the uppermost part of the mantle which is in liquid state what is asthenosphere asthenosphere is the uppermost part of the mantle which is in plastic state now asthenosphere plays a very key role we say that the tectonic plates are floating on this asthenosphere and it is responsible for the movement of plates then we have mesosphere which is again part of mantle it is in solid state then we have core which we call as endosphere okay we talked about lithosphere we talked about asthenosphere being in plastic state we are talking about mesosphere we are talking about endosphere endosphere is nothing but the inner and out outer cores both how can the prelims questions be now let's discuss about prelims questions on this topic consider the following statements mohorovic discontinuity separates crust and mantle yes this is a true statement gutenberg discontinuity is present between mantle and core again this is also a true statement we were discussing about two discontinuities in the static model one is about between the crust and mantle which is called as mohorovic discontinuity again between mantle and core which is called as gutenberg discontinuity now if there can be a maze question on this topic it will be about different layers of earth has been formed with differences in density of materials briefly discuss now when we are discussing about this particular question we need to answer we need to give details about the sorting of material when the earth was in molten state stratification of material that means forming of materials of different densities are forming different layers that means there is stratification of materials based on density and we will also talk about chemical composition that is when we talk about crust mantle and core then we should talk about the mechanical properties which is about asthenosphere being in plastic state we need to explain that and also we need to explain why the outer core is in liquid state the outer core is in liquid state because of the decay of the radioactive material because of the overlying pressure of the overlying material right because of the heat generated because of friction so we need to explain all of these so different layers have earth has been formed with differences in density right so we will talk about chemical composition that's when we will talk about cl we talk about sima we will talk about nife and again any question in geography you need to depict with diagrams if you are not finding time to draw multiple diagrams you can use this kind of a diagram where you actually are clearly mentioning the static model on one side 
and the dynamic model on the other side you are actually also depicting that discontinuities you see here mohorovic discontinuity you would also mention the gutenberg discontinuity there is one more discontinuity called as lehman discontinuity but again that is not needed as part of upsc let's stick to mohorovic discontinuity and gutenberg discontinuity okay we will discuss another topic in the next session etlo chindi now we just discussed briefly about the internal composition of the earth and how we should answer a mains question again for any mains question <coughs> okay sir no we will just discuss then i will check okay now as part of this session we discussed about the internal composition of earth based on static model and dynamic model as part of this session we discussed about the internal composition of the earth based on two different models which is static model and dynamic model we discussed how a prelims question could be and how a mains question could be answered right and we will discuss okay we will discuss another topic in the next session thank you